Hey everyone, it's Lillian with another cooking video for you. This time we're going to do buffalo chicken egg rolls. We're going to bake them in the oven. These are perfect for game day or just any time you want an egg roll with a kick. Um, they only have about 103 calories in it, 3.5 grams of fat. That's right, and this is what you're going to need. You're going to need a, a cookie sheet or baking baking pan like this with a wire rack in it, or you know, this is like a cooling rack. Put a wire rack in it. Spray the rack with some uh, canola oil or cooking spray. So you're going to need some cooking spray. You're going to need some hot sauce. Some blue cheese. I'm using broccoli slaw, but you can use regular coleslaw mix or even shred up some cabbage. Um, all the, the measurements will be down below. You're going to need a chicken breast, shredded, and some egg roll wrappers. First thing we're going to do is combine the chicken with the hot sauce and I will be back when we do that for the next step. Okay, as you see here I mixed up the hot sauce with the chicken breast. Now I will tell you, let me just bring the camera over here. Um, when you add this, you're going to start with a half a cup um, and like I said all the measurements are going to be down below. but your chicken is going to absorb, especially if you use chicken breast like I did, it's going to absorb some of the hot sauce. So you just want it to be um, a little bit juicy with the hot sauce and just use as much or as little as you want just according to your taste. Um, and also you can, you can bake up chicken breasts but I suggest to just boil the chicken breast for about 15 minutes until it's done then let it cool and then shred it. Um, I will be back next to show you how to assemble this, so stay with me. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention is get you just a little small bowl, like I've got this one, just just with a little bit of water because what you're going to do is you're going to wet the edges with your finger. Um, all around all the sides. All right, you're going to take about a tablespoon of your slaw, whatever you decide to use, and some of these are big pieces, so put it near the corner, but not so close to the corner where you won't be able to fold it over. Uh, let's put a little bit more on this. Just break up any big pieces. Don't let, you see how this... Let me make sure that you can see. I'm sure you can. There's a little piece of slaw right here. You don't want it in the corners like this, the perimeters, because you know you're going to um, be folding it and you don't want anything to hinder it from folding, from closing. So, clean hands here. You're going to put a couple of tablespoons of the chicken with the hot sauce mixture on the top of this, of the slaw. You're going to take about a tablespoon of the blue cheese mixture, put it on top. Now, you're going to fold it like an envelope. So we're going to fold this side first. Then we're going to take this side and fold it. This corner and fold it. And then you're just going to roll it up. Nice, neat little package. Now, what you do now, take your cooking spray and just spray all around the egg roll. You don't have to drown it. And just put it seam side up on your rack. I'm going to finish doing this and I'm going to pop them in the oven 400 degrees, which you should preheat. Forgot to tell you that. Um, 400 degrees. Let me get my directions here. And you're going to cook them um, for about 12 to 15 minutes according to your oven. You put it on the middle oven rack and kind of watch them. Um, the reason you're putting them on, let me show you. The reason you're putting it on this rack is because, because you're baking it and you're not frying it. Um, the heat will be able to get all the way around the egg roll and get it nice and brown. So when they're out of the oven, I will show you what they look like. Stay with okay, me. Okay, one last shot before I take them out of the oven. Well, they're not even in the oven yet, are they? But 
I got 12 out of all the ingredients and the uh, measurements that, like I said, for the third time, they're below. And um, you're going to bake them for about 12 to 15 minutes. And like I said again, 400 degree, preheat the oven, obviously, before you put these in here. Uh, middle oven rack, and you do not have to turn them. What I did was put them seam side up. Um, and if you follow my directions, then they will come out perfectly. And when they're done, I'll show you what they look like. All right, everybody. If you can see, they're all done. Sorry about that. Um, I had to let these go for more than 15 minutes. Actually, they were 19 minutes in my oven. You want them um, golden brown, um, and when they're crispy, and these are definitely both. You can um, hear them, they're crispy. Now let them cool on the rack, and you can serve these with ranch dressing or blue cheese, and just enjoy. Let me know how you like this. Please subscribe uh, to my channel and comment and rate and show me some love. Spread the word. Take care and until next time.